In ShiftOS 0.0.5, the next big feature is going to be the shifter. The shifter is a program that's going to allow you to modify stuff like, for example, this clock or any of the other programs in here. Let me open Knowledge Input. As you can see, they both have the same common elements. They've got a title bar with title text, a close button. They've both got really thin borders. You've got this grey thing at the top, which I'm calling the panel. I know it's a really unoriginal name. <laughs> All this stuff in this operating system should be able to be customized since this is Shift OS. You're supposed to shift it the way you like it. So I introduce to you the shifter. Now the shifter is a program you're going to use to modify stuff in Shift OS. So here's a little example of the shifter in action. I'm going to, and just so you know, this is a very early version of the shifter. You're going to have to use Shiftorium to buy stuff and make shifter better. But anyway. This is going to say, welcome to the shifter, yada, 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 little intro how to use it, kind of like this says, welcome to knowledge input until you click one of these things. So I'm going to click Windows, and as soon as I click Windows, you can see an example of a window, a little preview window. Also, some options here, title bar, title text, close button, and borders. So what am I going to modify here? What, what kind of feature would I like to modify? I personally want to modify, say, title bar. Now the title bar, as you can see, is grey, as, as you can see in the little preview image. Now let's say I want the title bar to be blue. I can just change the colour like that. But as you can see, the border is still grey. So let's click borders. Now I'm going to go to border colour. Now as you're seeing here, this is a Windows 7 or, if you're using Windows 8, a Windows 8 one would appear in this case. But this is just an alpha version of Shift OS 0.0.5. I'm not even releasing it you will never see this in the full version of 0.0.5. Instead of clicking this and having the default Windows color selector appear, you'll instead see a special color shifter or a special Shift OS program that allows you to choose a color based on the colors you've unlocked because you actually have to buy new colors in the Shiftorium. Everything at the beginning is just going to be more gray style colors then you'll be able to choose 0 to 256 of the actual grayness or no 255 of the grayness you want and then it will just go on and on with all the other colors you unlock and it'll just be really cool. Anyway so that's going to be the color shifter so this is just temporary this one here just for debugging and testing the shifter so let's set the color of the borders to blue and as you can see it's going to be blue because that was the last thing I selected so here we go now the whole thing is blue but I would like the border size to be 5 and with it being 5 it's now in line with the close button so let's just apply that and you can see all windows now have a bigger blue border oh, and just doing that makes the operating system look so much nicer, except this grey bar at the top just kills it. <laughs> just looks awful up there. Uh, you'll be able to change that too. You'll just go to Desktop and then choose Panel once you've clicked Desktop. Although, right now you can't click on any of these other things. I still haven't programmed them yet. I've only programmed Windows, as in being able to change the actual window stuff. So now that I've changed the border size of the borders to 5 pixels, so that means 5 pixels on this side, 5 pixels on this side, and 5 pixels on the bottom. I'm going to now change around the close button. Now let's go for a Windows 8 type feel. So in Windows 8, the close button isn't away from the top, it's actually attached to the top of the window. So instead of now having close button from top 4 pixels, so as you can see there is 4 pixels separating this close button from the top of the window, we're going to change that to zero. And as you can see, it doesn't change all the windows you've got on your system. I can quit quit right now, and it will not save these changes. This is just a preview, and then you apply, and it applies it to your whole operating system of Shift OS. So what we're going to do is, now that that's at the top, it's still not Windows 8-like, because you actually need... It, Windows 8 has a kind of long close button. So let's make it long. I'm going to change the width to... 50 and the good thing about this is you can if I keep changing you can actually see the size change live the second you type something apart from if there's no con in, in there you actually see it change live so if I type 1 you can see it's 1 pixel big and put an O which is 10 pixels it's 10 pixels big then another O there we go it's 100 pixels big but I'm going to set it at 50 because that looks like very Windows 80 and I'm going to make the color a red let me see, do I like that? Oh, 
don't really like that red I'm just gonna customize it just a little bit move that up move that up a little bit check it out okay I like that red so let's have it like that and I'm just gonna ch slightly change the title bar instead of it being 30 pixels high I'm gonna set it to 28 pixels high just so it's just that little bit smaller and because I did that I want the title text to be back in the middle of the screen again so I'm gonna make it from top as six so now it's back in the middle again and I'm gonna apply the changes so as you can see it applied the changes all the windows now have a red Windows 8 light close button now the thing you're probably thinking is how do I put like an X there how do I maybe make this a gradient in 0 0.0.5 you will not be able to do that however in 0 0.0.7 or 0 0.0.8 I'm still thinking of when I'm gonna add it you will actually be able to put any image you like there you'll be able to make gradients and this is going to be called skinning it's going to be a new skinning feature you're going to be able to draw your own skins in a program called ArtPad so for example you could draw a close button you would just think okay how big is the close button so let's go close button height is 22 pixels and width is 50 pixels so in that case you would make a new image in the art pad and you would make it 22 by 50 pixels and then you would set in here instead of color there will be a thing here saying skin you set the actual skin as the image so you could make an image of a close button here and that would set the image as a close button so that way you would actually have real close buttons here and shift OS could become personally your own thing it could look totally the way you want it to look let's just try a few other kind of customization type things here I'm gonna try and change the title text font so this font instead of this font I can't even say its name Felix titling or something instead of that which is a default font I have for shift OS but f I'm gonna try to draw my own combo boxes in future but for now I'm just using like Windows 7 combo boxes or whatever operating system you're using so here we go the moment you click this it quickly compiles a list of all the installed fonts on your system so any installed font on your system you can set that to the title text font of shift OS and there are heaps here on, on my own system personally so let's say I wanted the font to be what should we put hurry up and as you can see it looks kind of crazy now because of the way hurry up works it looks like it's kind of gone down a bit so I'm gonna set text from top as zero or no two yeah two looks good and then I just click apply and as you can see they're all applied like that except for knowledge input see there's a bug right there I haven't actually set it to uh, change the text of knowledge input so that's something I'm gonna work on in future so we'll just try a few other things here let's say oh and for example I can change it to italic instead of bold let's see how that looks yep clock shifter looks a bit crazy regular yep uh, strike out I don't I think you would have to be pretty strange to set your windows to look like this uh, what else could we have joker man oh this is gonna be crazy I'll have a bold bold joker man apply now at this point I'm thinking you know what that's hard to read so I'm gonna change the size so let's change the size to about 18 because the size is now 18 or well, 19 actually let me change it to this 16 I'm gonna have to change the title bar so let me change it to about 35 no 38 yeah that looks good and apply changes and as you can see all the windows just look a little bit silly now <laughs> But the point being is that this is going to add s just your own take on Shift OS. It is going to look the way you want it to look. And it's just with so many customization options here, you can just go crazy with this. Now, the way I've done it is I'm going to set it so that the shifter itself is only going to be 40 code points. So this, this program that allows you to do all this stuff, when you buy it initially, is going to be 40 code points. However, I'm going to make it so that instead of making it you just buy it for 40 code points it was going to be 200 to 300 code points and you get the whole program but instead it's going to be 40 code points and with that 40 code points you'll open the shifter and you'll look through all of these and you won't be able to do anything you'll click on windows and there won't be anything here to modify you'll see a preview of the window but these buttons won't be here so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to buy uh, a shifter title bar 
modification. So that means you can start modifying the title bar. And each of these will be 20 code points. So 40 code points for shifter. And then to modify each individual thing, you just add each button here, which is going to cost you 20 code points. And then you'll slowly be able to up, uh, upgrade it to the point where you can pretty much shift everything about Shift OS eventually to, to the point where you can do skinning as well. So I'm just playing around here doing a few more skins and we'll see how it goes. Um, I want to change that close button. What would it look like if it was really, I think this is a dark red. Oh, that looks pretty evil, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's just keep changing to more things. I'm going to change the height because I want it to be a bit bigger too. 30 and then change this to 70. There we go. This is just looking a bit too big now. What's something unique? What about we try and set it really small? So I'm just I'm just testing out the limitations of this program because me I, I've only just made the shifter. I haven't really played around with it so much. What's a interesting font? Okay, we might do rod with font size of 10. I'm gonna make the close button really tiny about 15 no 10 by 10 and it's only gonna oh 10 by 10. <laughs> that's a bit smaller than I thought and it's gonna be 5 from the top I'm gonna change the title bar height to simply 15 oh, not big enough 20 yeah that's a good size I'm just trying to make shift OS look really different here uh, that looks good there but I'm gonna change the width maybe to 20 don't know, I'm not liking this. Maybe if I make this 12 and then change that to a 3, change that to a 30, 25, oops, 25. Oh, I don't know if I like this or not. Okay, let's just change it to that and see what it's like. Yeah, there we go. Now all the windows are quite small. Sorry about this. I'll just get rid of knowledge input because it's annoying me. But there we go. The windows are really small now. As you can see, the title text is slightly too high, so I'm going to make that a 3. What would a 4 look like? Apply. Yeah, a 4 looks perfect. So there we go. This is just a simple way you can start modifying Shift OS to look the way you want it. Maybe you want to try and go like old green on black style. So let's try and do that kind of a style. Title text. Close button. Oh, what should I do? Borders, I'll make it 1. So that'll be really crazy small. And then I'll make the close button a dark green. And the actual title bar itself can be one of those really mess up your eyes greens. <laughs> In fact, what could I set that close button? I'm still not happy with the way the close button looks. I'll make it slightly higher. What about 14? Uh, 13? Yeah, we'll make it 13. And then... I've got to just change the borders color to that same color. All right, this color. Okay, and I'll make the title text a different color. Let's make the title text. What would red look like? Uh, red looks gross. What about black? I don't know. It looks a bit odd when it's not white. I'm not used to it because I'm used to seeing Shift OS always throughout history with its classic. Oh, what the hell? Let's just set it as this. <laughs> now that looks pretty crazy. Let's open up a terminal for a bit of fun. There we go. Now that just looks crazy, this layout here. But the fact is, you'll be able to make whatever kind of layout you want. You can, if you want, just go crazy and make the dumbest layout ever, such as a border size of 20. In fact, look at, look at how silly this looks. You can make your operating system look silly if you want. Is that the same size as the title? But yeah, 2020, so it's a perfect square around. Um, and then let's say you just wanted that shifter to be not so close, wait a sec, from side, so instead of 4 pixels from the side, let's say 20, that, or oh, a bit too much, 8, 9, yeah, let's set it to that, and the close button from the side, so 5 pixels from the side can be 20, yeah, that looks good, okay, and apply, like, you could just make this operating system look crazy if you wanted but anyway that's all I'm gonna do for now apart from one more see this is it's addictive and do you know what the best part and yes this is gonna be really awesome about this whole customization system is that you are gonna earn code points for customizing if you sit here for an hour customizing you'll learn heaps of not that you would spend that long customizing but you get my picture you can actually earn so many code points just by sitting here and customizing uh, up to four code points per minute.
of customizing. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, it's not that many code points, but it, it gives you a reason to customize the look of your computer every now and then. Let's just do a really strange one. In fact, let me just change the borders back maybe to 10 so it doesn't look too strange. Okay, close button 10, oops, and title text 7, 6. Uh, we'll change the font again, stencil. Oh, bleh, that looks bad. What about regular? Still don't like it. <laughs> What's a nice font we could try out? Jazz? I can't even see that. Let's change the title bar height. Now that is odd. Here we go. <laughs> the weirdest thing ever. Anyway, I think that'll be enough cu customization for now. Just imagine how much you'll be able to customize this. And every program, you'll even be able to change basic things in the program, such as when you go here to programs, it'll have every single program from a drop down box. So you'll be able to modify the clock, as in, like, see this white background color here? You can change that to any color you want. You can change this text. You can change this text. You'll be able to modify the colors of the terminal text and background. You'll even be able to modify the buttons within the shifter that allow you to modify more buttons within other programs and just go insane trying to keep up with all of this stuff. <laughs> so everything will be customizable to the absolute brim. Expect Shift OS 0.0.5 to be released around March 1st, 2014. I'll see you next time once I get an early version of like the color chooser or color shifter for Shift OS actually working. See ya.